Style counts for a lot. Everyone knows that a stylish suit will add at least 20 item levels to your gear. With that in mind, it's probably a good idea that we discuss the new wardrobe feature coming in Legion. This is going to be a quite a short one just to explain how it works and how it doesn't work. So in live, if we want to transmog our gear, we need to have the items either physically in our bags, physically in our banks. We need to go to someone who can transmog, say on your mount, and then you need to select from all the options you have. And if you have a lot of them, it's a case of cycling through each one. Uh, there's no real preview or anything like that. You just have to keep stabbing at them until you get the one that you want. In Legion, what we do, we first of all don't even have to go into the transmog thing. We've got the wardrobe feature actually uh, in a tab down here along with our heirlooms, toy box, pet journal and mounts. This is getting really long. They've got, ooh, they've got room for a few more. What are they going to come up with next? But <clears throat> the way it works, of course, uh, just to explain if you didn't already know, is if you have any pieces of armor or weapons or anything you can transmog that is suitable for transmog for your class, it gets saved into your library. Um, you know, so when you do a quest and you get a quest reward, you don't even have to put it on, it just gets saved. If it's in your bank, it gets saved. So one of the first things we can do when the pre-patch comes out is to empty our bank of all this stuff we've only got for transmog. Obviously, don't throw out anything that you're going to use for time walking. Um, but that's going to help clear up a lot of space. We've got various options if you want to look at what we can use. At the moment, see, I've only got collected. So this is the stuff I can actually use. I could click on not collected if I want to, and click that off is probably easier. If I want to find some things um, that I don't currently have, and I thought, oh, that looks good. I don't really think that looks That's like a toilet handle flush. But something like this, I thought, oh, where, where's that come from? And it'll tell me where it comes from. So I could get it from a quest or it's a world drop. And that comes brings me to the next point you can actually look at for sources. You could say, okay, I'm going to see what I can get from crafters. So let's say I untick all of these. And it'll just give me what you can get from professions, the look you can get from different professions. Or what about... Um, from quests if I go back and do old quests what sort of things are available to me and just cycle through that sort of thing now the other thing uh, you can do at the moment in live of course if you want to hide helm or hide cloak which are the only two things you can hide or have displayed um, you go into your interface options and you go to display and you click on show or untick show depending on whether you want to show the helm or the cloak or not there's an extra little option here so when we go onto our transmog mount, so for helm you can see I'm already having it hidden. It's just an option there, you just click on hide. Um, the same thing for the cloak at the moment, I think, have I got the cloak showing? I've got the cloak showing, uh, but I could hide it like that just by ticking that, but let's click off that. Another thing I can click off is the shoulders. I could have the shoulders not showing. Now, of course, that looks silly, so I'm going to put that back on. But I have had issues in the past with certain cloth transmogs that I've tried where you know what how it works you don't really want any shoulders because it spoils the whole overall look of it so you try and get some really small ones like the black mage weave shoulders or something like that if memory serves that are just really small and, and might not get in the way but they're still there this way you can just hide it now it's not to say you can hide anything um you know you can't hide the chest in fact you can't hide anything else as far as i know um just double check in that's right so it is the extra one is shoulder so you can hide now helm shoulders or cloak now another thing you can do is um, if you want to create yourself a new outfit so rather than when you're transmogging gear having to cycle through everything what you can do instead is you can set up, set up a transmog and then save it give it whatever name you like just like um, gear sets now already in the game so that's another useful feature there. Now, in terms of the account-wide aspects of it, the reason I'm doing this video is actually I was going to do one at some point, but a question was asked, and it sort of sparks a little question in my mind. So let's go through the what you can do and what you can't do. So let's say on my paladin, I've got a cloth helm. That will not be saved to the library even for use by other cloth for actual cloth wearers on my account 
even though I can wear cloth and even though I can wear leather and even though I can wear mail, having them, even wearing them, will not save them to my library. I tested this out um, because obviously I can't copy couches across so I don't have huge stocks of these things on the couches I have an alpha. But I took my paladin into uh, Ragefire Chasm and I got a couple of leather pieces. Now I can wear them, but they don't get saved. So they're not available uh, in mail. They're not available for the characters who would normally wear that. So as a paladin, for example, the only things that will get saved will be plate, so, uh, the weapons that I can use, and shields, uh, and cloaks, of course. And, and that's it. Any leather or mail I get won't be saved. Now, what about from quest rewards? So I tested this out. I went on a different paladin and did a quest. I did two quests, um, one that just returned plate. Now, this is an interesting point. Up to level 40, warriors and paladins are used to having mail, and then at level 40, we get to wear plate, and the rewards suddenly become plate. Not so anymore. In Legion, it's just going to be plate. Um, I suppose because of this wardrobe feature, they don't want any sort of funny business going on with mail. So all the mail stuff from level 1 to 40 that was intended for warriors and paladins, in other words, got strength on it, is going to be changed to plate. But there was another quest I did where I had a choice. Like in the old days, of course, you had a choice of gear. And I had a choice between plate boots and cloth legs. So I did the quest, and I chose as my reward the cloth legs. This was not saved into my library. But interestingly, the plate boots were, even though I didn't select them. So I've never had these plate boots, but because I've done that quest, it's been saved into the library. So quests that you've done in the past, that you've already got registered into your account as having done, on the characters you did them, you should have in your library when, when the pre-patch comes out, when it all goes live, the quest rewards that your class would sensibly use saved in your library, even if you didn't select those rewards, um, which is quite neat. But what I did just to double check is I went onto my mage because I thought, well, I've chosen the cloth legs just because it isn't saying shown. Maybe that's just because it's not gone in that paladin's library but maybe it's still on my account, so maybe I go onto my mage and it'll be in there. So I went onto the mage, wasn't in there. So that's not a thing. So you have to have completed that quest on a character. If you want the cloth legs, you have to have completed that quest on a cloth wearer, if you see what I mean. So there are some restrictions on this. Um, it's not just a case of all your characters all sharing all the items they've ever had. The other thing to point out this is fairly obvious, uh, but I will, just for completeness, say my any plate gear my paladin's got my, you know, would be shared with my warrior, except for stuff that's specific to paladins. So paladin tier sets, apart from tier three, um, if it says paladin on it, and that's a restriction uh, for the class, the, the warrior wouldn't get access to that, and vice versa. So it is only stuff that you can wear and of the right armor type, are of the right weapon type, and, and whatever else. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, and you've got follow-up questions, put them in the comments below, and I will try and get back to you. If you found it useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>